Liverpool and Newcastle United are eyeing Chelsea's defensive target valued at 80 million euros. Two clubs are interested in signing player Thiago Alcantara. Welcome, fan, to your news channel of the greatest club in the world. Some quite interesting news about Liverpool's pursuit of Ruben Amorim is circulating today in the Portuguese media. Journalist Pedro Sepulveda writes that the coach's agent has just bought an apartment in Liverpool. It is said that the representative will have one of his employees permanently living in the English city. There is no guarantee that it's only related to Amarim, because the agent already has another client in Liverpool, which is Luis Diaz. However, the suggestion is that it's a big clue, because they wouldn't need someone in the city to only take care of Diaz. It has become clear that Amorim and the Reds are in final negotiations of his contract with the club, which could be the reason for this extra investment from the representative. We must say that most of the Portuguese media hasn't shared major updates on Liverpool's pursuit of Amorim, but Sepulveda is the one who has almost daily tweets about this pursuit. Just like the coach is fully focused on winning the championship with Sporting, it seems that the Lions are not so concerned about his departure for now, with the journalist stating that the Lisbon club still has no name in mind to replace the coach. Liverpool and Newcastle United are closely monitoring the progress of Sporting's defender, Ousmane Diamand, who is also a target for Chelsea. According to a report from Football Transfers, Diamand has sparked Chelsea's interest, but Liverpool and Newcastle United are also interested in the 20-year-old defender. However, Sporting is demanding 80 million euros for his release, thus triggering his release clause in the summer transfer window. Diamand, originally from Abidjan, spent most of his development in his country before moving to Europe, where he joined mid Midtjylland in January 2022. His performances at the Danish club caught the attention of several clubs before he joined Sporting in January 2023. In the last 15 months, he has emerged as one of the best young defenders in the world, amassing over 50 appearances for Sporting, with four goals and one assist. Diamand was also part of the winning team at the African Cup of Nations earlier this year. His development has not gone unnoticed, attracting the interest of clubs like Chelsea, Liverpool and Newcastle United. With the possible departure of Joel Matip from Liverpool this summer, Diomand is an option to be considered. Meanwhile, Newcastle United, facing issues due to long-term injuries, is also keeping an eye on the player. Although 80 million euros is not a problem for Chelsea, Liverpool and Newcastle United, these clubs must comply with the Premier League's profit and sustainability rules. Therefore, Liverpool may have an advantage in the competition for the sporting defender. It seems certain that Thiago Alcantara will leave Liverpool this summer, as his contract is expiring and there is no new deal in sight for the Spanish midfielder. The 33-year-old player had a tough season at Anfield, with few appearances on the bench and several injuries. He missed much of the 2022 and 2023 seasons due to a persistent hip injury and has also been absent for most of this campaign, except for a brief appearance against Arsenal in February. Thiago signed a four-year contract upon arriving from Bayern Munich in 2020, but with his constant injury problems, it is almost certain he will leave the club this summer. Reports suggest he is looking for a new club, with Flamengo and Al Etifak showing interest. Other clubs, such as Barcelona, Atletico Madrid, and Turkish teams, have also expressed interest in the midfielder with 46 caps. Thiago won an FA Cup and a Community Shield during his four years at Merseyside, scoring three goals. Victor Gioqueras, the Swedish forward, has excelled at Sporting CP, with 36 goals and 16 assists in 44 matches, catching the attention of Liverpool. His notable performance highlighted his importance in Sporting's strategy. A potential transfer to Liverpool could influence player management and recruitment strategy under Amorim. The connection between Gioqueras and Amorim goes beyond player-coach. It's a crucial factor in Gioqueras' decision to join Sporting. Gioqueras' agent, Hassan Tetinkaya, emphasized the importance of the relationship between Amorim and Victor Gioqueras. Yes, it will be harder for Victor to stay if Ruben Amorim leaves Sporting because Victor came precisely because of Ruben. While the prospect of Amorim bringing Gioqueras to Anfield is tempting, it raises questions about the current team dynamics, especially regarding Darwin Nunez. Liverpool.com speculates whether Liverpool would turn to Gioqueris or continue to develop Nunez, who has yet to reach his peak at Anfield. Additionally, Gioqueris wouldn't come cheap. 
making this potential transfer a significant investment for Liverpool. The general opinion is that Amarim's presence could favor Gyokaris's transfer to Liverpool, but final decisions depend on various factors, including Amorim's stay and Liverpool's market strategies. In summary, Gyokaris's possible arrival is linked to Amorim's role. If it happens, it could mark a new era at Anfield, with signings aligned with the managerial vision. The coming months will be decisive in seeing how these possibilities unfold. Thank you very much for watching until here. Until next time.